Hello world, Becca here from Inside the Square with another CSS tutorial. Today we're going to cover how to create a gradient button in your Squarespace website. In Squarespace, you have three button options, small, medium, and large. And the code we're covering today can affect all three of these buttons, or you can isolate just one button type. So first and foremost, to make changes to CSS, we need to go to our custom CSS section under the design tab and then custom CSS. Beneath this video, I have all four of the codes that we're gonna cover today, but starting with the first one, let's look at what happens when we change all three of the buttons at once. I'm going to copy and paste this code and now you'll see we have one color on the left and one color on the right. If black and white is not your color scheme, you can add your own custom colors by changing these hex codes right here. This first hex code is the color that will be displayed on the left. The second hex code is the one displayed on the right. I'm going to paste my own brand colors in there, and now we can see that it's updated. If you want to isolate just the small button, this code is also beneath the video, we'll replace this top line. This top line says, hey, Squarespace, let's change every single button element. Or you can tell it to change just the small button and leave the other two alone. You also have the option to edit just the medium button by replacing that word there, or just the large button by again replacing that word at the very end. You'll notice these buttons are reverting back to the way that they were. So again, the code is beneath this video. This top line right here is how you identify an individual button, or you can identify all of the buttons at once. And this section here is what you change to update it to match your colors. Alrighty, that's it for creating a gradient button. Definitely the basics. I have a few more gradient tutorials that I'm working on that I'll be posting soon. We'll get into all kinds of details about changing the direction from left to right or diagonal, horizontal or vertical, but I wanted to start off small today. So grab that code beneath this video and have fun updating your Squarespace website. Oh my gosh, and I almost forgot the most important part. Don't forget to hit save. All right, that's it, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Ready for more? Download my free guide to getting started with gradients. It includes CSS codes for 35 gorgeous color blends. Download it now at insidethesquare.co slash gradient.